first things first, I'm the realest. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. And I'm still in the murder business, I could hold you down like I'm giving lessons in physics. Right, right, you should want a pair of it. Okay, I need to work on that. Tie dye and trauma bonding. Hello sexy people, what is good? My name is Drew and the only acceptance you need is from yourself. If this is the first time you've ever clicked on my YouTube channel, this is a safe space where we discuss sexuality, bisexuality and how to love yourself. So definitely give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. So as you can see by the title of this video, today we're gonna do something quite different. I'm going to be bleach dyeing my trousers. Now, it is a vlog, but I'm going to do it properly and I want these trousers to look good, so feel free to follow me at home. Shall I show you? Shall I show you my stuff? I got this top from Depop, um, which I really, really love. And I found this seller who custom makes these tops. So I'm actually going to put um, her link here if you like this top and you want to potentially buy one because she has loads of different designs. What I'm looking to do today is replicate these bleach marks on my all time favorite trousers, which actually my dad got me these trousers for free when he fixed a washing machine. Yeah, so basically I'm looking to make these trousers the same as this top. Okay, we're gonna get straight into the dye-in. I've actually spoken to a friend of mine called Kaya, hey Kaya, and she told me that if I wet them, it's better. All you need is bleach. So I'm gonna get these wet and get some bleach, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna tie it up, bleach it out. Hey, there's a fly on my camera. Oh my god, sorry if you saw my crusty lips. My lips have been very crusty recently. My mum just said to me, like, be careful when you bleach, it's really dangerous. And it's like, yeah, bleach is dangerous, but I can handle it. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. So I just got to film in a video and my dad walks out and he decides to sit right in the middle of the garden. Hello, I'm filming, dad. So basically I've decided I'm gonna go gardening because why not? And I love gardening, it really helps me relax. Basically I'm gonna garden and then I think my trousers will be born. Okay, so these trousers, I'm just gonna basically wet them with this. Wet, 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 wet. I've laid them on such a dirty floor, but whatever. Lie them down, get some elastic bands. Bleach. Here goes nothing. Talk about trauma in your parents' house without them hearing challenge. Um, trigger warning, I am gonna speak about um, sexual abuse in a moment, very lightly. I'm not gonna go into like big details, but just as a trigger warning, just in case you wanna skip on head and see the trousers being finished. <laughs> so basically, um, JD um, Vibrate Higher is her Instagram, I'm gonna leave it here. She got me into this meditation where we were kind of both sitting opposite each other and she like took me to a space outside of my subconscious and she could like see my chakras and my aura. If anyone doesn't know, chakras are energy centers in your body. You've got your crown chakra, your third eye, your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your solar plexus chakra, your sacral chakra, and your root chakra. She said that there was a dimming in my root chakra. And I was just kind of like really open to what she was saying. And basically I felt a pain on my right side and it was a lump. 
and she sort of said to me like like what does this spot feel like and i said it feels like really like an extinct volcano it feels very hard it feels like a knot and she was like what would this pain say and basically i just got to a point where i felt that i needed to let go of an experience i had when i was younger when i was raped and um yeah, it just really went there and we start, I started speaking about how I don't feel safe when I'm in love or when I'm in a relationship because in the past I've been abused and also not really felt that I could express myself as a bisexual um, in my relationship and I always felt that like my sexuality is kind of like my power and that if I'm in a relationship or in love with someone i'm gonna give my power away and they're gonna use that against me and yeah so it's, it was like really heavy stuff and i've kind of not taken responsibility for myself um and because i'm scared that if i do that i'm gonna get hurt so i'd rather get hurt by someone who i've given the responsibility to because then i'm not in charge of causing myself pain oh my god it was so deep it was so deep but jd was absolutely amazing she really like held the space for me and i did feel really emotional at points and she kind of like sent love to that space we let it go letting something like that not define you and just really allowing that to leave my body was a very very intense beautiful feeling and apologizing to my inner child and saying that i'm sorry that you went through that like you are free to express yourself you are powerful um and yeah that doesn't define you and that uh, i don't have to do that anymore i can be feel safe and express myself freely because i love myself and others do love me as well so yeah that's kind of how i feel now and my whole day has just been absolutely, I don't know, I just feel different. Here's to healing, here's to healing, honey. <laughs> so update on the trousers. I actually took them out of the wash and they had worked, which I was very happy about. Um, but they didn't look like they'd gone very orange, which I want to go orange to match the top. So I've put them in a tumble dryer and this is the reveal. I've not seen them yet. So I'm literally gonna close my eyes, go to some tumble them out and then, yeah, we'll, we'll react together. So we're gonna see at the same time. My eyes are closed. Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm scared if they're good or not. Okay, let me kneel. I feel like a hostage. I feel like a hostage. Three, two, one, reveal. Morning kitten. <laughs> it is the next day. This is what they look like in the light of day. So as you can see, the bleach process did work and they do kind of look orangey. But my issue is dye them. Hello, me chitin my lovelies. We've got a bloody Wilco haul. So the first thing I got from Wilco was this. It is a whiteboard. I'm so excited by this. So Wilco also do Rizzlers and these you get three packs for a pound. I mean, this is a really, really good deal. I usually like Raws and these are, I had to look at them to see. I mean, they basically look like Raws. And then the Pierre de Resistance, the reason I even went to Wilco was to get red and yellow dye because I love how these trousers, like the patches have come out, but I'm just really not vibing with that like dull kind of cottony denim -y colour. So I thought that if I mixed red and yellow together, it's going to make orange then the orange is gonna be kind of like rusty and match this top. So let's see if that works. 
How do people ever do stuff without having YouTube tutorials to watch? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out and get half of this dye and half of this dye together so it makes a pack of orange dye and then I'm going to be left with a full pack of orange dye, half a pack of yellow dye and half a pack of red dye. I'm going to use the orange dye on my trousers because I want that to be orange and then I'm going to use a combination of the red dye and the orange dye to tie dye this top which is an Atari top that has a stain on it. I'm hoping this looks sick. It could be an absolute look if the red tie dye it goes well. Here we go. So yeah, combining the red, half the red with half the yellow to make orange and then just doing a half red and half yellow. So there will actually be three pots of dye. I never knew you needed salt for dye, but please just read the instructions of your dye and just follow what they say. Oh, don't piss me off. Ugh, piss me off. No, it hasn't. So yeah, now I'm just mixing the dye together. This is the orange dye, which I know looks very red. Kind of surprised me, to be honest. And I've also made my trousers wet. I'm not wearing gloves because I'm a bad bitch. I'm a I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a I'm a bad bitch. Battle, battle, trial and trouble. How the hell am I meant to stir this for 15 minutes? Are you mad? How many roses can you find in an English country garden? La 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 So yeah, basically I'm now gonna do the bonus die. So for the red and the yellow, I'm going to be making these up into bottles instead of putting them in the jug. Next up, I'm going to twist the top. I've also got the top wet and yeah, as it's wet, it's easy to twist. So you can just put whatever pattern you want into the top and then secure with elastic bands. This is it all twisted, so I can't show you it because it's too dark and I need to do it outside. We're going to put the yellow and the red on here and just kind of put it in different sections and uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching everyone, my lovely YouTube video. Um, the weather is about to get a little bit colder, but you know what? We're out here, we caught our tans, so it's all good. Cool.